And we recently dropped a couple of our reactions to the greatest WrestleMania ever. And now that we're here, WrestleMania 40, probably the greatest WrestleMania I've ever seen in my lifetime. Cody Rhodes I- finally finished the story. We got surprise guests. We got great people gaining new belts. Bailey beat EO Sky for the women's championship belt. Your man, Drew McIntyre, beat my Seth man. Rollins. He's not my man. Oh, Dylan's man. Dylan's man. He's Dylan's man for sure. Beat Seth Rollins. <laughs> Unfortunately, his title reign was short lived for about five minutes till one of my goats, CM Punk, <laughs> decided to put belt to ass. And help Damian Priest cash his money in the bank, which I thought was amazing. I mean, I knew it was going to happen sometime in the night. I feel like the setup was great. The whole CM Punk arm ain't really that hurt. It still hurt, probably, but not that hurt. Coming back, doing what he's doing. I thought it was great. The Cody the Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns. That was Avengers Endgame. That was so cool. Man, what do you think about Mania? How was your experience? Man, it was a lot of fun. I, I got to say, uh, I... They say it's the greatest mania, and I think I'll have to let it grow on me. But it's it's a there's definitely a like validity in that statement. I think in terms of consistency, there really was only one match personally that I did not like. That I was just like, turn it off. It's horrible. You want to take a guess? Jimmy and Jay. Yeah, absolutely. They had the worst wrestling match I've seen at a WrestleMania. Um, between two guys who I had a lot of hype for, like I, I had a lot of expectations. Um, they're two brothers who they've been building this feud up for years. I was a fan of the Usos when they were a tag team. Um, and this is like the one thing, the one trap that they couldn't fall into of just, since they both have similar move sets of just getting into a match and doing the same moves the whole time. Um, it just, it felt really unfulfilling to the story for them and yeah just like it's a super kick fest and there's no point in me watching that but besides that everything else was fucking awesome jade cargill um squash match you knew it was gonna happen i thought their yeah. i thought their walk uh in walkout gear was amazing between her and naomi and bianca was and amazing bianca. Ooh, i gotta talk about my guy la Knight, who went to smoke AJ yeah. styles fucking boots for old Four old sweeped him, <laughs> beat his ass at his crib, beat his ass on SmackDown, beat his ass in uh, snuck up on him, beat his ass. Like, what more do you need? Beat him at Mania. Four old him, four yeah. fucking old him. Hey, hey, Paul Levesque, it's time to get him a fucking belt. It's time to yeah. pe- the people have chosen. It's time. It's time. Well, we we we've, we've got a lot to look forward to after Mania. So that's the that's the cool thing is this hold really on, does on, feel on. like before we get to after Mania. What was your reaction? Because I feel like I called it to a T. What was going to happen in that Roman and Cody? It's actually scary. Cause, Y'all, uh, I, I, I feel like I'm not getting my problem. I smoked. I called another one out. You really did. Um, it, it's funny. I feel like we all did. Like, between you, me, and Dylan, like, we all, like, did a pretty good job of, like, predicting. Like, we we all had, an like, a general idea that Damien could cash in. We didn't know it was going to happen like that. I knew that it was like, oh, Drew's going to win. Damien's going to cash in somehow. Um, and then that you literally calling the John Cena coming out. I saw John Cena come out, and I was like, man, Ethan's good. Ethan's right. We're literally going to hear Stone Cold's music here in and like I, two bro, seconds. Bro, and I, when The Rock came out and rock bottomed him, I went fucking nuts. Me and my dad was like, I was at like, a, 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 like an elementary school again watching him. They did with my pops. Like I was going nuts. We were going nuts upstairs. We saw the rock came out. Him and him and Cena had thrice in a lifetime face to face with each other. Cena was trying hard to like not smile, but he was grinning. He, the rock was selling it. Oh my yeah. god, he was amazing. But Cena was just smiling to it. I think Cena was just so giddy and happy to be there. And I would when he rock bottom him and he took the belt out and he was talking to Cody Rhodes' mom and he was about to whip Cody in my head. I said, bro, the glass is about to shatter. And I'm going to lose my shit. Like, Gage, I was going to lose yeah. my shit if Stone Cold but, came out. But literally, it was, like, the second best thing. It was the next happened. best thing. The next best thing that could have and, happened. And we heard the tombstone, and I still went crazy. I still went crazy. Because me and my dad were talking about it that day. My dad was like, wouldn't it be crazy to see Undertaker would come out? I said, I mean, I guess. Like, 
I don't know. I feel like Undertale. I, I loved it. Don't get me wrong. Don't take nothing away from it. it a couple of days of set. I wasn't mad about it. I was like, I just kept thinking afterwards, like, damn, Stone Cold has been fire. And definitely, yeah. like, after learning more about like booking and probably in hindsight, Undertaker probably was the best choice because when you think of Stone Cold coming out like that, like he's DTA. He's don't trust anybody. He's not going to help Cody win the belt. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's, yeah. not, that's not to his character. Like if Stone Cold comes out, stuns the rock, he's he's either going to stun the rock. And then after Cody pins him, stuns Co- stun Cody. Yeah. He or he's going to stun Cody. And yeah, you're like, <laughs> even though, even if they didn't do that of like Stone Cold, just doing some out of character stuff, just stunning the rock and leaving, I'd have been totally okay with it. Yeah, I'd have been totally okay with it. I'd have been fine if it's not 100 percent true to Stone Cold's character. That moment hey. deserved it. And do you do you believe that Stone Cold said no? Mm. And do you do you believe what 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 people what, what some people are saying that Undertaker was their first choice? I don't believe it by one second. I don't know because so I actually read about that, and there are a lot of people who are arguing that it does make sense for Taker because apparently him and Rock have like a long. Um, like history too. Obviously, we think Stone Stone Cold The Rock in terms of rivalries, but I'm pretty sure Taker and Rock go way back. That they had some pretty like big matches against each other, um, and it's it was crazy to see Taker back, dude. I did not expect it either. Honestly, I was like when you had mentioned John Cena, I was like, oh yeah, Stone Cold for sure is going to come out now. Ethan literally called it, and we saw Taker. And um, no, it, was, it was really good to see him too. And I guess, like you said, in but terms want, of like but you want keeping the cold. character, you want to Yeah, cold. we, you know, we want Stone Cold, but like in, in terms of keeping the character, I guess it makes more sense for Taker to come and out. And it, but, but I think also hot take. I feel like Taker is one of those characters where like his legacy was has a hundred percent like taken a hit since retiring. Like Taker's one of those guys, the WWE guys is like there's a myth and there's an aura around the dead man. I don't want to see him on a fucking podcast. I don't want to hear him talk. Have you heard have you heard Undertaker's voice? It's hella high pitched. Like, I don't want to hear that shit. So even when he came out and he just basically came out in sweatpants, I was just like, bro, I don't want to watch this shit. Like, come on, like. Uh. You know what I'm saying? Like I still still think it was a ten out of ten ending. I'm happy some somebody came out and did something to the rock. Or was like, I'm just wish it was Stone Cold, or at the very least, I wish Undertaker went full, doom, like the full everything, like the tombstone. Nah, bro, his knees cannot take that. <laughs> no, no, not tomb, not the tombstone. But I'm talking about like the full outfit. I didn't want to see him in black uh, sweats. I didn't want to yeah, see him in black sweats. Yeah, I guess that's fair. It wasn't moving me. But, yeah, I mean, uh, it's funny. We didn't talk about the tag team ladder match, too. I had a feeling that they were going to, like, split the belts up like that. I, I actually did not expect them to, like, hang both of them separately. Um, that was kind of cool. Uh, definitely, I mean, I guess there's no way to do that again because I, I don't want I don't want them unified to keep them separate. Um, but... Yeah, man, there's a lot to look forward to now. Look, uh, like after because this mania really felt like the end of an era, but like the beginning of a new one because we're ending the Roman. How many days was he champion, man? Uh, our tribal chief, tribal we acknowledge chief. him, we still acknowledge him. Our tribal I can't wait to see what they know. do going forward with yeah. him. I can't wait because even the raw after mania, they kind of tease that. They're not done yet with this whole bloodlines. This is not the end of the bloodline storyline. Not by a long shot. Like it might, we might be like hitting the epilogue of it, like the like the next chapter of the book. But it, it's uh, it's not over. We're I definitely setting up Cody, Cody and Rock at Mania, or Cody and Rock at SummerSlam. See, I was gonna say Cody Rock at SummerSlam, or. Survivor Series. I don't know. Or Survivor Series or something like that because I do you think the plan is to have Rock versus Roman at the at the next meeting? I think we get I think we I'm not I think Rock versus Roman or you know LA Knight versus Cody. 
I prefer the latter. Oh, brother. I prefer the latter. He has to win a mid-card championship No, he first, doesn't. Buddy. No, he doesn't. Yes, he, he does. Yes, yeah, he look, does. At, look at the legends he got on his jacket already. He whooped ass. Look at the legends. Two. You you consider AJ Styles a legend, right? I do. And I'll I give do. you that one. Sure. I, AJ Styles. He pinned Roman. He did That's not two. pin Roman. He did pin Roman. That's he did two. not win. He did is, not is, win in is, the record is, books. Is, is, is Miz a legend? Yeah, Miz is That's a legend. That's three. He already got the stand by Cena. That's four. What more he got to do? He can't pin Cena, though. He doesn't need to pin Cena. Mm. Why can't two legends mm. coexist? Oh, now, okay. now, so now, now it's now, why can't yeah, two now legends coexist? Huh. But yeah, when J. Cole says it, man, I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> now, fucking, yeah, I, I was literally just about to say, let's tie it right back in because this is hypocrisy, man. Yeah, no, nah, but I thought it was a great man. Yeah, I thought the Bailey EO match was so fire. So I thought good. I was I, so happy. I thought for Drew, Drew Seth had the best match. No, nah, I don't think they had the best match. I thought they had a great match. I don't think they had the best match. I uh, thought, I mean, uh, technically speaking, I the, ta- the, the tag match is great. Hearing seeing Truth hit a hot tag and pin <laughs> and pin Finn, and then the Raw yeah. after Mania. With him and uh, Miz coming out against Judgment Day, and then having him and Cena finally getting a match together, and all three of them get hitting uh, FUs. Cause fuck yeah, it, that man. was a lot it's, of fun. It's the Renaissance era. We call them FUs again. Yeah, fuck the attitude adjustment, man. And we need to bring yeah. it back. Uh, what is, he called it the STFU too. Yeah. Yes. Yes. The STFU. Yep. Yeah, I'm, yes, yeah. I'm with it. Yeah. And I, I like the fact that even Cena in interview said that like he's gonna come back soon, like he's taking a break, but he's aiming for 2025. It to be like we're gonna get one last Cena. T- I think we're gonna get Cena breaking. Good. 16. Good. I think. I think it's time. Him. You got to pick either between him or Randy. Somebody got to break that record because aren't they both tied? Or is Randy like one behind him? Oh man, that's actually tough. I haven't thought about that. I know uh, Cena's tied with the record. I know Cena is tied with the record, and while you switch it up, I guess I mean I'm I could talk a little bit more about how like I just really like I'm I'm happy that 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 Cena is here and we're getting some of the legends come back and be appreciated. But I I love the fact that they themselves recognize that like it's almost time, it's almost time for me to go. Cena talking about he's got one more run in him, probably for like three four months. He don't want to do this. He got a cutoff date of 50. No, he got a cutoff date of 40, and he's going to be 37 by the end of this year. And by, by the time he hits 40, he's done. He will. He, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see more legends. I'm, I'm pretty sure after this, even though The Rock is in incredible shape, I'm pretty sure when The Rock is done with Cody and Roman, we might have to put him at. Because as far as I'm concerned, with The Rock cooked up in these past two months, as Hollywood Rock, he definitely shot at my rankings. And I think he should have shot up a lot of people's rankings. Yeah, he has definitely brought back something to the product since he's come back. And um, yeah, I'm glad to see that he's going to be back on TV. I was very shocked to see him on the Raw after Mania, too. Um, but yeah, I just checked it. John Cena is a 16 time uh, world heavyweight, uh, world champion. Uh, Randy Orton is a 14 time world champion. So. Um, John Cena would need one more to beat Ric Flair, who has 16. So they're actually yeah. tied. But, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, and I think I wouldn't be surprised if we hear, if we get a Cena. I would love a Cena Randy or a Cena turn heel to wrap this up. <laughs> that would be some crazy stuff because Cena has not ever had a chance to play a heel. So that would be interesting. But, uh, I don't know. There's so much that you could do with Cena, uh, especially with all of the talent that they have. With CM Punk back in the mix, too. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of cool stuff that WWE can do, and I'm just excited to see where they go with everything moving forward. we got new champions, Sami Zayn, the new IC champion, which, by the way, Chad Gable's challenging him on, on Raw this week. So I'm excited in. for that. I thought that was a sneaky good match. I didn't think Sami was winning that one bit. I thought I, I'm glad they kind of leaned into the Rocky Three storyline. They did it with him instead of doing it with with Chad, but I'm okay with it because I do think Chad's gonna be the one to take him take that him off that belt. But who knows? I really think if Chad doesn't doesn't beat Sammy here on next Monday, it might be a wrap for him for a little bit. 
So this is what I was thinking about Chad Gable, and maybe this is uh, something for another episode or TikTok or something. But I think Chad Gable should go heel um, and like lean into the Kurt Angle comparisons and just like start being like an over the top, obnoxious goofball, um, and back it up in the ring with like all of the cool shit that he can do with his German suplexes and fucking you know all the stuff Kurt Angle was really good at. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll see. 